Over the years, this sort of work has won a growing fan base overseas. The Cape Town Art Fair is hoping to keep the sales flowing. More than 80 exhibitors in a variety of art forms for all tastes. It's a traditional art form that is created by women for women. Um, they uh, paint on their bodies, also paint on walls. There's a certain kind of language that this medium has, a certain kind of um, technique that they follow. Prices can be high, $100,000 or more for some pieces. But choose right, and this is the sort of art that will define a collection and a collector. We've been working very hard in Nairobi to build both a local audience, which of course is really important, but an international audience. Over the last five, six years, we've noticed more and more people coming to us asking about you know, who's collectible, which artists to look at in, in, um, in East Africa, in the region. Established artists are doing pretty well at the moment. South Africa's Blessing Ngobeni averages $30,000 per artwork. But he says they are in a minority. It's only those artists that uh, manage to go out there and create artworks that are very challenging, that are managing to make money this nowadays. But in reality, to, re to speak reality, is that a few of us that are making it out there. So many are hoping this fair will give them their big break. African art may be fetching record prices at international auction houses, but there are many talented artists here unable to make a living from their craft. Art fairs like this one, though, play a vital role in showcasing the diversity of African creativity. That was Andrew, CGTN, Cape Town.